Hi guys, welcome to Saving Engineering. My name is Elvis. Today we'll be looking at how to calculate reaction forces acting in a beam. So guys, we have a beam that is in equilibrium. Equilibrium means it is in static, not in motion, not moving. It is in one position. So here we have a beam. We have a force of 30 Newton and 40 newton we have a distance from a from because from from here this is a pin support and this is a scroll support remember guys this is a pin support and this is a scroll support and we want to take moment we need to take moment at a point a because this is a pin support and from the pin support we have a distance of two meters to reach at the force of 30 newton from the from this force we have a distance again of four meters to reach at the, uh, 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 a force of 40 newton then from the force of 40 newton we have a distance of two meters to reach at the point b let's continue guys and before we continue guys do not forget to subscribe you like also share do not forget to hit on the notification bell to always have the latest future videos guys from from here we proceed by drawing a free body diagram this is a free body diagram we can see this is how the force is acting and from here to calculate it we need to from from this pin support we need to uh, 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 put a force acting on it which is uh, for the ox what is for the ox force acting on the horizontal forces meaning horizontal forces and this is vertical forces acting on it. So the the, uh, the principle of static equilibrium means that all the forces acting on the horizontal must be equal to zero. And for the uh, 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 O Y must be equal to zero. And for the moment must be equal to zero. That's the law of static equilibrium principle. We proceed by looking for the forces acting on the OX on the OX axis, which is equal to zero, which means OX is equal to zero. We proceed to so now we can look for the we can look for BY. BY we want to look for BY, we need to look for moment about this point. If we were to look but for AY, we need to look for moment about the point BY. But let's look for the BY, we need to look for the moment about this point. To look for the moment about this point, anything about this point is equal to zero. So we, so we can go further here to say, or we can also start here, guys. We can, let's start here. So B B B Y into perpendicular distance which is eight four plus two plus two equals to eight is going to this is our sense of moment is going to this anti-clockwise let's consider our clockwise to be negative and anti-clockwise to be positive. So this BY is having a force of anti-clockwise, which is positive. That's why you see BY into distance of 8. Because when you want to turn about this point, it's going to be anti-clockwise, which is positive, minus this one, this force of 40, 40 into the perpendicular distance of 6 because 4 plus 2 to turn at this point this guy is, is going to turn because it is coming on on clockwise which is negative that's why you see negative 40 into 6 minus again this other force which is 30 into 2 equal to zero because we cannot take any point here because is everything about this point is equal to zero so now we'll proceed by 
B BY is equal to 40 times 6. This, this will be equal to 2 240 plus 30 times 2. This will be equal to 60 equal to 0 divided by 8. We divide this by this 8 because this is 8 RB. So we divide both sides by 8. This cancel. So this is equal to so when we divide this, guys, we are going to have, we're going to have 30, 37.5 Newton. 37.5 Newton. This is the force, this is the force acting on BY. 37.5, this is the force acting on OY. Because you see, guys, this is acting. So let's calculate for AY now. To calculate for the AY, it is projection of forces. You remember that we have already calculated for OX, which is equal to zero. We calculated for this equal to zero. This is what we achieve. So let's know we calculate for this and let's so let's look for force acting on OY as this. So some of forces acting on OY is equal to 30. No, this is RA. Because any force acting on o, OX equal, is equal to zero because there is no force acting on OX. And for the OY, we have AY, AY minus 30 minus 40 plus BY equal to zero. Here guys, this is equal to, as we are looking for AY, AY is equal to 30 plus 40 minus BY, BY which is 37.5. This is equal to 32 Point five Newton means that a means that a y is equal to thirty two point five Newton. I hope you have seen everything, guys. And here you can say for the O X. O X, I mean for the X equal to we have zero force acting on O X, and for the A Y, for the A Y we have 32, 32.2, no point five Newton force acting on it, and for the B, for the B Y. Which is this one, guys? This is for the BY. We have 37, 37 37.5 Newton. This is according to static equilibrium principles. We have to achieve this. The reason this is bigger, this 37.5 at the B, you can see this B because this force is also big. And for 30, we can have 32. So this, so this is thirty two point five for a y. Please, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe, you like, and also share. Do not make sure you just forget to hit on the notification bell to always have the latest future videos. Guys, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.